what is going on guys it's Justin from the J media back with another video so today uh, I basically vlog a few different things because there's a lot of stuff going on a lot of car stuff but I just wanted to split it in different videos um, so previous video maybe the previous video you guys might have saw me picked up some HFP side skirts that were painted by Edder um, I have yet to mount it so that video might come out before or after this video this purpose of this video is because I'm going on a little road trip uh, from Austin to in the middle of San Antonio a guy by the name of Adrian he did some uh, carbon fiber work for me a while back um, and I'm getting more carbon fiber stuff done so let me show you guys a few months back I picked up the super rare Ganador LED mirrors so if you guys didn't know Ganador side mirrors are super rare JDM brand super hard to find discontinued and if you do find them super expensive um, they usually come some of them unpainted this one has the carbon fiber weave. It's not real carbon fiber because it's kind of like a hydro dip. If you look at it, again, this is real. This is not a replica. Uh, you can tell by the serial number on the back. But one of them is in perfect condition. The other one, not so much. So I actually wanted to get it really clear coated. But what happened is uh, I brought it to Long Shop and while one of his guys was wet setting it down because it's hydro dip, it came off. So let me show you guys the other piece. Um, it's not glossy because they masked it off to wet sand it so you can still see the carbon weave but right around up here you guys can see that the carbon weave is gone so one option is we could paint it black to match my car but for me since I got the carbon fiber carbon fiber weave uh, design I wanted to keep that um, so an alternative is I can get a hydro dip, but my hydro dip guy Thomas, he stopped doing that a few years back Or I can just get it with real carbon fiber So again, Adrian, what he does is he lays real carbon fiber weave on top of it um, So yeah, it's gonna look gloss It's gonna look good, real carbon fiber, not hydro dip uh, And at first it was really expensive, so I didn't want to do it But in, I talked to him and he hooked me up a good price and we're meeting halfway So yeah, I'm going there to drop it off uh, my Ganador side mirrors and then we also have these small little pieces that again clear coat came off so being wet sanded so if you guys are wondering that's my side mirror and this piece pretty much goes like right here yeah so we're gonna get it in carbon fiber um, I'm in a little bit of time crunch so I don't have time for lunch I just brought some sushi I'm gonna eat on the go yeah, so we are taking my Civic Si there today on my short little road trip. Just made it here to Bucky's. So this is a good midpoint stop uh, whenever I meet people for parts who live in San Antonio just because this is near Braunfels which is about an hour away from Austin and also about an hour away from uh, San Antonio. So yeah. And if you guys didn't know, over in Texas, Bucky's is huge. Check out how many gas pumps we have. Usually it's about a hundred gas pumps or so. So just got over here to Bucky's in Braunfels. Met up with Adrian. Like I said, uh, he has a badass EF hatch that goes to a bunch of car shows. Uh, he also does great work on, you know, like custom carbon fiber stuff. So pretty much anything you need. If you want to ship it to him, he can do the extra charge. But yeah, I'm going to link his Instagram right here. Make sure to check him out. Let me know. So just showing Adrian the parts right now, uh, the side mirrors as well as those two corner pieces. These already sanded down because uh, the clear coat was kind of faded. That's why. Um, the main thing is it's already carbon, but you know we thought that since it goes right beside the side mirrors, hopefully the the weave can match. You know. Oh yeah. So this is the good one. So the Ganador, some come painted, some come um, in carbon, but the carbon, it looks like a hydro dip. It's not real carbon. This is how they come. It's kind of like, it's, a lot of manufacturers did that in the early 90s, like uh -huh. the Integra Type R's and the Civic Type R's, how they had the fake carbon fiber stuff on the inside. Okay. The fake look. Yeah. But I mean, it, it, like I said, it's a manufacturer thing. So right. That they did in the early days. This one's perfectly fine. It's the other one that yeah. uh, some clear coat, you know, went out on the top. And I thought we could just wet sand it and get uh, it sprayed. Once, but once <laughs> it goes, it goes. Yeah. Okay. I'll just take the little box. Yeah. And then, this is uh, all wet sanded down and ready taped up like the LED. Um, 
I apologize if the vlog sounds windy because it is no, super windy really out here. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to cover so the mic. See how much wind. <laughs> it is pretty windy. Yeah, so yeah. Cool. See the the was the top part right up here? That's yeah. yeah. But oh well. I'll get them looking. I'll get them looking like nothing you've ever seen. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Like I say, he does all kinds of crazy carbon weave, different colors too. Um, I do uh, molded parts. I do uh, custom overlaying. I do fabricating. Anything to do with carbon fiber. I can get any color. I can get any weave pattern. Uh, and all my stuff's lifetime warranty. Everybody nice. only has like, you know, a two, three year warranty. All the stuff I do is lifetime, even the overlaying. I use the best product so I can, I can offer the best warranty. So there you go. That's <laughs> badass. Yeah, Adrian did my uh, gauge pot on my Mitsubishi a while back. So yeah. All right, so pretty much about to leave Bucky's and I just spent maybe the past half an hour here uh, just chatting with Adrian about cars, just chatting with him about doing stuff. I apologize if it's a little bit windy. Um, the wind just picked up, it's super windy. Uh, so yeah, audio might be a little bit muffled. Hopefully you guys were able to hear some stuff that we were saying. Uh, but essentially I dropped off the Ganador side mirrors with him and he does carbon fiber, any kind of color, any kind of, um, I guess weave, carbon fiber weave, whether it's forged carbon, composite carbon, any kind. Um, he done like roof of, cars you done like hoods i think done the trunk um he did my gauge pot on my mitsubishi lancer turbo built so he does great work and since he's here in san antonio the last time i shipped it to him but this time we actually met up in person which is really nice of him to drive out here as well to meet up so yeah it is about an hour's drive which is not too horrible um saves me on shipping you know so again i'll probably continue this vlog in a few days whenever he shows me some progress photos or videos or when I meet up to get the actual product. So yeah, stay tuned, that should be pretty cool. All right, so it's been a couple of weeks since the last clip. Uh, pretty much Adrian, otherwise known as Goldie Customs, like I said, he has been taking time to do all the carbon fiber stuff on my Ganondorf side mirrors. Uh, if I wanted something to be rushed, I can definitely get that done as well. You pay a little bit more, uh, but he had a bunch of different work to be done to other cars as well. So anyway, he, took care of it looks super good um, he sent me a bunch of clips if you guys follow me on Instagram you would have saw a sneak preview of it uh, we're heading right now to his place actually because we're headed to a San Antonio today I have my fiance with me she's driving her car and uh, we're gonna pick up the part and I'm really excited to see the Gennaro side mirrors that's one uh, I'm excited to see his car as well because he owns a badass EF hatch um, that he takes to a lot of car shows and then uh, a while back he showed me like his garage setup it has a lot of cool like car memorabilia so that's super cool as well hopefully you get to check that out too but uh yeah we're just gonna stop by pick up the parts say what's up and that should be pretty fun so finally got here to adrian's place so slightly over an hour drive because pretty bad traffic <laughs> but yeah here's his uh i guess his garage super awesome We'll do a little tour around, I guess. Uh, yeah, tell us about your garage and what you have going on. That's a lot of really cool car well, I mean, stuff you yeah, have. You see, I like love everything to do with cars, little cars, big cars, so it doesn't matter. So, yeah, I got my little cars up there, I got my drip car right there, and my big car right here. <laughs> so, here is his show car, his uh, Honda Civic EF hatch on his little baby dog. <laughs> and this thing is. It's been a while since I've seen this thing out at shows. Um, yeah. Oh, the roof. Carbon roof. This thing is mint. Again, you guys don't see EFs too often, especially one built up to this extent, which is super awesome. How long have you had this platform for? Uh, I had the car since 03. Oh, wow. And slowly went through all the transitions, the body kit, the you know the single cam the racing the stripping it wow so finally i wanted to you know what i'm tired of blowing motors and screwing around and uh i want to make a show car you know I yeah to take it to the highest level the next level yep so that's wow. why i ordered the type r from hmo it's a 96 spec full integra type r swap all mm. numbers matching 
the head transmission and uh, E18 block. C5. And wow. then I shaved all the bay and rye wire and downstart everything. And no expensive spare on this yeah, thing. Just wow. Kept on adding, kept on adding the new uh, Circuit Hero. Strap I actually bar. helped them with development for the EF chassis. Wow. So on the first EF chassis with the Circuit Hero bar. Is that a full titanium strut bar? Yeah. Dang. That's awesome. And it's on the Circuit Hero website. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I helped them with that. So. Man, you guys know I'm a sucker for nice Honda builds, and this thing is just like I said, a work of art. Like the attention to detail. Wow, can't get enough of it. I mean, there's just so much to look at on the car. CCW wheels. Yeah, the one off. I had uh, those uh, cu uh, custom made for me from CC. One off and. Uh the uh what's it called the guy who runs their social media stuff he loved them so much he put it on the ccw website as well for that's the awesome yeah, they love the the different textures and stuff i went with mm -hmm. yeah really really it's nice got the sublime inner beer inner barrel mm -hmm. um brush gloss outer lip and uh fully polished face mm -hmm. and with the polished hardware and stuff Wow, man, just so much attention to detail. It's crazy. Yeah, a bunch of empty boxes. <laughs> yeah, I could roll down the window so you can see more in there. Wow, I think this is, I mean, I've seen Adrian's car on at shows, but this is the first time I'm getting like a real up close yeah. walk around because usually it's like I glance, I see the engine bay, what's been done. I see, of course, the outside, the wrap is pretty crazy, you know, yeah. but. This is like first time up close and personal with the owner himself sharing about the car. Man. And then since I do, you know, carbon fiber work, I went ahead and made my own pieces for myself. That's awesome. And, like I'm still working on the roof, still uh, sand stripping it. Uh, but you don't have other projects to worry about. But mm -hmm. whenever a show comes by, you usually try to do one strip right. and repolish it so it can get better and better and better. So, but no, 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 no biggie. That's, man, it's so clean all around. Yeah, and then I just made the, the rear speakers. The rear OEM speaker pods. So my buddy had a set of the the Honda Optional uh -huh. uh, speaker pods, the OEM ones. Wow. And uh, he let me make a mold out of them. So they're an exact replica from the, o, the OEM. Damn, but that's just crazy. But just carbon fiber. Man. And as you can see, whenever you can pull it from the back, it has full suspension underneath, like, the works. <laughs> yeah, Ugh, a lot of it's crazy aero. Underneath as well. Dang. Who does all your aero stuff? I do, I make everything. Oh, wow. Yeah, I made, That's the, crazy. I made the rear diffuser, the side add-ons. Uh, I did wow. the white volume myself. Dang. Aww, you want to go inside? You Flow mesh is regular carbon, and then I have uh, here's all the forged. You can see this, this looks forged really carbon. Cool. Yeah. Oh wow! So it's from the the raw bits itself that you're doing. Yeah. Oh wow! So I then, always thought there's a whole film like that. I mean, you can buy it as like a like a film mm -hmm. already, but the real the wow. real guys have just the powder, and we make because everyone will be. That sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is, but I mean, I love Dang. doing this, and it's just, you know what I mean? Like, who else is going to do it? So I might yeah. go, like, keep doing it, like. Right. This is where the magic happens again. Oh, yeah, this is all, like, my materials. Uh, here's my resin, uh, Duratec. Here's all my, um, the bagging tape. It takes a special type of tape, so you can see it's, like, almost like a gummy tape oh yeah and if you wow. use it like you can't use it because i've like tried with other you know what i mean let's just experiment and uh -huh. nothing was still not even duct tape so like wow. you have to have this so look here's a couple cases of it and you know everything here is uh my fiber tag hardeners and i mean the list goes on my respirator <laughs> The different weaves, yeah, you know, all the different, different colors. weaves and colors. There's blue Kevlar, there's a uh, carbon Kevlar, and then I have a small piece right here Ooh, with the other type nice. of Kevlar. 
And then I just got some of this plain weave in. So here's plain weave carbon. Like this is mostly what you see like on the OEM styles. Mm -hmm. Like the BMWs, they use the plain weave carbon. So okay, that's actually going for a BMW job. So it could match his, uh, the rest of the carbon that's on his car. These are going to be headlight bezels, custom, that are going to be carbon fibered. Wow, so pretty much you could lay it on any kind of material. I can basically take any existing part and either overlay carbon fiber on it and it mm -hmm. is permanent or I do have the option to make you know a mode and so that you can get a pure carbon fiber piece oh wow so basically so it will be different like modes like here's the Honda K series Honda B series VTEC um, so the entire valve cover would be made of carbon either or yeah wow and then see here's the speaker pods that I made from the OEM uh -huh. Here's the Evo 8, 9. Oh, yeah. 4G63. Yep. Uh, here's an emblem for a Mitsubishi. I mean, a for Mazda. A, yeah, a Mazda. I mean, literally, like anything. That's so here's cool. EK fog light mm -hmm. modes. Um, I mean, literally anything. The option is to the customer. If you want, mm -hmm. you know, something over it, of course it is cheaper. Mm -hmm. But wow. you know, you do have an option to get a full carbon fiber replacement. Wow. That's something that it's like a couple of pieces. This looked like a, was a FK8 Type R. Yeah, it's an FK8 Type R. That's a prototype. Mm. Um, cut up the back grill. And then uh, the customer actually had, he donated this piece because it was extra and he had bought this grill and mm -hmm. it was an idea that he had. So I went ahead and you know, that's what I do. People come to me yeah. with an idea and I, I complete it. So this is the idea mm -hmm. that he had. So I went ahead and made it reality. Wow. And then Man. here's just an extra B series one and red Kevlar for my car. And here's some honeycomb uh, pillars, uh, door pillars for EK Civic four door. Mm -hmm. Wow. But they just haven't been finished. It was just a little project that I was doing and, and just hung them up right there. Yeah. And then right here, you'll have a couple lips that I just got that I'll be making modes out of. A backyard special EG. Um, yeah, backyard special EG. So I'll be making modes of all these so that mm -hmm. pure carbon. And no uh, fiberglass in them, so they won't break and none of that. Okay. There's an uh, Integra Type R JDM front end lift. So no piece is too big for you, pretty no. much? No, I mean, look at the roof. Yeah, the roof. You know what I mean? So doors, no, doors trunk. trunks, like... Have you uh, done hoods, too? Uh, yes, I have, yeah. Okay, wow. Um, and then this one's for the EG. This is the... Um, oh, I forgot what it's called. Man. Oh yeah, the first modem. They're both first modem. This is an EK one. So I just got those in, so I'll be making modes out of those here really soon and you can order them in any color. That's so badass. So pretty much any color, anything, oh, you any know. Any color, any weave pattern. Mm -hmm. I can literally get it, get it all. And my distributor is here in the US. So it's within a couple days that, wow. you know, I'm able to get any material. I mean, like you want, camouflage digital kevlar i mean the list is literally limitless wow dang so yeah. it's been a little bit a couple of weeks adrian worked on my ganador side mirrors so it's all finished so we have the side trim pieces as well as the ganador side mirrors they safe to touch now yeah okay so is it your first time doing mirrors? So you've, you've done mirrors before? No, I've done mirrors before, yeah. Ganadors, you've done it too? Uh, I've done like replicas, but that's a come like I already know how to take them apart and stuff. Okay. It wasn't like an issue. Same for process. Me, I've already nice. Like, done it. Yeah, I already know how they're taken apart and stuff. So, I mean, he went above and beyond. Like you said, take it apart. I thought he was just going to do it over, which I some guys might do it, but he did Man, it the proper you way. You lost a lot of like detail and stuff. You have to strip them fully apart. So this is how they look. Like I said, the Ganador side mirrors come in a few different finishes. Some come unpainted. Uh, some of them come with like the carbon fiber hydro dip, which is what I had. 
so uh, unfortunately some of the clear kind of faded over time and you know instead of getting it redone in hydro dip i was like hit up the carbon fiber man <laughs> yeah you might as well go with the real thing <laughs> yep took it all apart and they're all put back together Correct. and then this little piece here is yep, the trim piece goes right like that bingo so yeah you guys will see in a separate video we'll have the uh get a door mirrors mounted on the car i haven't actually even mounted these on and tested them yet but uh i just wanted the mirrors to be good before i slapped them on so yeah pretty excited just made it back home so all in all I had a fun time over at adrian's place again big thank you to you adrian for number one helping me to lay full carbon fiber on my Ganador mirrors came out super great super stoked to throw them on the car and secondly for inviting me over to the house to check out the badass ef hatch as well as your other car garage and you know carbon fiber stuff carbon fiber projects they are working on so super cool again if you guys need any carbon fiber work done hit him up on his instagram page let him know that i sent you justin or the j media sent you and hopefully you know he'll be able to take good care of you as well if you stay to the end, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Again, if you're new, hit the subscribe and notification bell so you know when new videos are out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.